I'll tell you this. It'd be of now. all the shortages, the food one concerns me the least. I'm going to give you a tip. I'm going to give you a tip. Just the tip. How many <laughs> pet stores are around your house? <laughs> There's a lot of shit you can eat in that store, A lot bro. of shit. It's basically a grocery <laughs> store with fresh meat in it. <laughs> Welcome to Black Shirt Monday. Yeah, because I'm dying inside. <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome to episode 77 of the Whiskey and White Tales podcast. I'm Gus. This is... That's God's number. And I'm Matt. <laughs> <laughs> and this is released on June 13th, of the year 2022. Of our Lord. Mm-hmm. And this episode is sponsored by Winter Smiths. Wintersmiths. We did a whole video that you can go watch on ice making and, and clear ice. Everybody always always asks us about clear ice. Yeah. And uh, we had a guy at the market last weekend or two weekends ago. Want to talk about clear ice. And I said, wait, because I got a solution for you. So Wintersmith, they, they have a really awesome setup. We I've personally tried several setups, including the do-it-yourself version, and I just I, I suck at it. So I broke a knife. Did you? I broke a nice knife trying to do that trying to do that with the whole that's cooler dangerous, thing dude. it bounces and hits you in the eyeball or something i it's it was a bread knife they say to use this so i was using my fl flat serrated bread knife from my knife set and it just broke at the handle <laughs> it's a nice knife nice knife set too i don't know you should have bought a shun <laughs> the shun is responsible for all the stitches on my fingertips <laughs> they're very good at uh making sharp knives and i'm good at not using them well <laughs> i'll attest to that i don't think it matters what kind of knife it is yeah it's true you are reckless with a knife but you can use code W ampersand W like whiskey and whitetails 22 W and W 22 and you get 15% off their kit, which is pretty fantastic because they don't offer a lot of discount codes, people. Yeah. You can also use code podcast at whiskeyandwhitetails.com for your Father's Day shopping this week. And you can get 20% off everything in our store. Yeah. We just restocked the Blanton's lid holders. Yep. If you're listening they sell to, out quick. If you're listening to this on Monday the 13th and you're shopping for Father's Day, you probably need to get your order in today. We ship same sure. day, or we will. if you ship in the evening, it's next day. But, but I don't want you waiting for three days and then bitching that you didn't get it in time. Because that's what y'all like to do. <laughs> it's our fault that UPS dropped the ball and you got it three-day shipping and it arrived in five days. Yeah, that's our fault. It's UPS's fault that you waited to the last minute to shop for the man that helped give you life. Yeah. Or raise you, whatever the case may be. Your kids buy you gifts or is it still your wife? Like they don't have mean? jobs. Oh, They're yeah. Not it's, going out it's, a, it's, a, it's a combination thing. It's like, this is for, here, Dad, I got this for you with your, <laughs> with your money. <laughs> okay. That's sad. I'm sad now. <laughs> that's the thought that counts, right? That's it is the, a thought that counts. That's where that saying came she from. She takes them out and, and they pick out things. They make things for me. Yeah, those those well, are the ones good. that are, that mean the most to me. That's the sure. stuff they make. Same. Yeah. <laughs> Kitties make you some stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> They, they shit in the litter box and they're like, I'm good. And run down the hallway and leave little turd droplings. In and Thanks, you're like, dad. Sick. Let's go pick that up. <laughs> yeah. It's cats, man. So yeah, 20 Crazy animals. Podcast. Yep. Code podcast and check out our Patreon. Yeah. We're redoing all of our tiers and um, yes, yes, yes. they're not in solid fact yet. Yes. Okay. But uh, the, the lowest tier is getting canned because no one's ever joined it because they love us so much they don't want they're like that's too cheap that's for too my cheap. favorite guys yeah and basically they're they're helping us out they like the content we provide them and they like hanging out with us and talking to us and we have first thursdays which is happening tomorrow after we're well, recording today but tomorrow we have first yep. thursday where we sit around and chat with everybody yeah it's fun it's always a great time love it and we do random blinds we just ship them stuff sometimes they just get things in the mail from us you're random stuff not you're welcome we love you I mean, we appreciate, we appreciate your support. you and we're just showing you that we're yeah. showing how much we love your support we're building but, a community and yeah. the community is awesome, but it will be more awesome with more people. And the more people, the more s cool stuff we can do. Yeah. And it, this is a quick story. story. Um, Ryan, uh -huh. one of our patrons, he uh, was drinking last night, took a picture of the Whiskey and Whitetails uh, Glen Karen with some whiskey in it. And so, and I've, I've, we follow him, but I don't really yeah. go through people's i don't snoop that often right right so i woke up this morning and i was like i got some time i'm gonna snoop i'm going through this dude has pictures of guns pictures of him racing cars pictures of him shooting a bow nice. pictures of him drinking surge smoking cigars i'm like is this me in another <laughs> life 
So that's <laughs> that's what we're building. We're building people that all have the kind of the same interests, yeah. and and it's a lot of fun. And with our tiers changing, everybody's about to get a lot more stuff. Yep. Everybody in the campfire, we're probably changing the names. We're probably going to change the names up. But the bottom, the 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 first two tiers, the first tier is going away. The second tier, we're going to keep kind of as is. The next tier up, getting some stuff. The next tier up, getting some stuff. And the next yeah. tier up, getting the, the a new, lot of stuff. The new first tier is what I meant. Yeah, yeah. So we're we're mixing things up. Uh, folks are going to be getting some. Just more stuff. We yeah, have a lot of, a lot of things in the works, uh, monthly classes and um, And our new cool top gifts. tier is uh, we're extending it to 12 to 24 people. Yep. So 24 people will be able to get into the top tier, and then it's it's shut off for we don't know how long. Probably and those guys are getting year. a pretty cool gift after however many months that is. We haven't figured that yeah. out yet. But yeah, there's things coming. It's, it's, it's going to be, be good. It'll be happening in the next couple of weeks. So, All right. Uh what else do we have? That's that's pretty much everything I wrote down. So I think this episode is just going to be like catching up. We haven't talked to each other in a couple weeks. No, it's been a couple weeks. We've been um, I'm, 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 I'm traveling and things. Yeah, I've been in and out of Kentucky. Had some cool stuff in Kentucky. It was, um, but I'll tell you this. I give you a little a little drop top secret. First, let, let's let's drink some of this. So this is the OKI Reserve, which we just did a review on. Um, which we don't do very often, but the, that their review is also out. Link here. So you can go watch that. So that, this has already been opened, but we'll pop it again. Oh, still oh. the same quality pop. Ooh. So this is the, yeah. So this is the, uh, so OKI was owned by New Riff back in the day. We go through the whole thing in a video. Um, they sold the brand. This is the new people that are running it. They used to own George Remus. So if you like George Remus stuff, they sold it to MGP. This is the new stuff. And uh, we did a full review on there and some notes and stuff. And you can go watch it and see what it smells and tastes like. We are just going to drink it. Yeah, we're just going to drink it. So Sniff it. next time you're in Louisville, okay, right down the street from where we stayed, <laughs> yeah. like literally a block. You remember that Havana restaurant? Yeah, I do. Across the street, there's a liquor store. Oh, really? The Cuban re the Cuban restaurant that we were yeah. like, let's just go grab a sandwich. And they're yep. like, you have to get reservations there. Yeah. Okay. Turns out you don't. But oh, really? Whatever. I think they just didn't want us to go. They're like, no, drink here. Don't go there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Or it was a different Cuban restaurant. Perhaps. Anyways. But. Liquor store. There's a liquor store. And do you remember when we were driving to Lawrenceburg, we saw a smoke shop off the interstate. Do you remember the name <laughs> of that smoke shop? Was it Big D's smoke shop? What was it? Cox. Smoker. Cox. Well, yeah. Was, I knew it was Cox Smoker. Cox. Cox Smoker Shop. And uh, Cox. C O X S. <laughs> See what Cox is. Oh, it's Cox's smoker shop. Whatever. So I pointed it out to the wife when we were, we were on the way to Bardstown. And I was like, look, it's my favorite smoke shop. I've never been in there. <laughs> and she, she was like, is that seriously the name? And I was like, yeah, it's pretty funny. So I got a receipt for Cox smoker shop. And, uh, and it turns out they own this place. So it's oh, called Evergreen Liquors. And it's owned by Cox's Smokers. Okay. Well, at least the receipt said it could be a DBA. I don't know. But it's called Evergreen. They don't have a Instagram. They don't have a Facebook. They don't have nothing. They don't have a website. They're just like here. So I here walked in, and you know, Kentucky has like all the you can drink kind of, you can buy older stuff. It's, it, you know, yeah, they yeah, can yeah. buy older stuff and sell it to you poor by poor. So yes, yes. They had a bunch of stuff in there. And if you if anybody watched our Instagram stories from there, there was uh, some fantastic stuff. Yeah. But they had all BTAC was $40 for an ounce and a half. Wow. And um, they had Koi Hill for $15. $15 yeah, a pour? a pour. So I drank a lot of Koi Hill. We actually killed that bottle. Me and some of the people that were there killed that bottle of Koi Hill because it's so cheap. That's a great bottle for 15 bucks. Yeah. I was just buying it for people. And they were like, seriously? And I'm like, yeah, man. They don't know how much it costs. You know, I'm like, I just think you should try it, you know? And uh, and so like, I'm going to buy you something. And then they're like, let me get, you know? And so I we got we all got to taste a bunch of cool yeah. stuff. But yeah, that's like a let hidden gem. get you a gem. Jack Daniels Honey. <laughs> yeah. No, one guy bought. Um, it was the best thing you drank all weekend. Best thing I drank all weekend. I don't know, man. There's a lot. But your your point was that that's the place to go. That's the spot. Yeah. That's the spot. Cool. Yeah. It's a. Uh, it's it's like we, we were in the right place. To, we're in the right spot. That's yeah. where we stayed this time. Just two blocks down. Yeah. Right across the street from there is a Marriott, and that's where we stayed. Uh, you weren't trying that Airbnb again? No. <laughs> The Marriott was way nicer. I bet. <laughs> but, yeah, that's funny. But yeah, it was fun. It was a good trip. 
Did you take? Did you stuff. take? Uh, did you take the wife by Moonshine University? Show where we did our grueling did class. Not, I didn't get a uh, rental car. Oh no, no. Just did what, everything walking distance. Yeah, they had or a, Ubers. There's a tour bus. We were on a tour bus. Oh, for cool. the Majority of the weekend. Cool. That's pretty fun. Sweet man. Yeah. Got to. Um, I went and saw. I went to. I had. I had dinner with. Uh, oh. Bourbon personalities. Yeah, I didn't have dinner with him. I ate dinner in the room that he was in. But there were several. Bourbon personalities. There was a lot of them there. Bourbon personalities there. Yeah, there was a lot of them there. And then um, it was pretty cool. There was somebody asked him. They were like, Fred, if, if you could pick. We were at uh, Watch O Proper. Mm -hmm. And they were like, Fred. Actually, the guy's name was Jeff. And <laughs> so you know me all weekend. Big Jeff. And like <laughs> I just yelling his name all weekend. <laughs> Jeff. That's one of our. Never mind. And so uh, it's an inside joke. There's, he had, um, he was like, if you drink anything in here and he was uh -huh. like, there's this old forester over here that's unopened. No one's touched it. And so he brought, he asked for them to bring it down. He, Fred opened it, poured everybody like four or five different guys, poured them a drink and he paid for all of it. So that's pretty cool. That is cool. So maybe he's, maybe he's a stand up fella is and he had his ass got on. He did. Yeah, of course. Every day. Good for him. Yep. Good for him. Good for him. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it run. Um, well, that's cool. I stole your plug, didn't I? I, I what is? What did you? Did you do Wintersmiths? No. Oh, okay. I'm doing um, something else. Yeah. Tomorrow. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. That's yeah. Right. Well, tomorrow when the podcast comes out, yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. So if you live in the Charleston area, the plug you're gonna want to stick around because we're dropping yeah. knowledge you may not know about. For show. Sure. But yeah, so what did you, uh, how was your, you went to Table Rock? Man, yeah, I went hiking to Table Rock. Um, it was beautiful. The yeah. weather was perfect. High of 85. It got into the low 70s, high 60s at night. Um, it was, so we took the trail to the summit, right? To the, the end of that trail. Um, it was as tough a hike as I remember it being two years ago. Yeah. We did it. I, we uh, I went with with Gavin's troop, so we had scouts, different ages, different abilities. Um, Did everybody make it? Tell you what, man, I went there fully anticipating most most people, adults, leaders, everyone included, we're going to get to like the one mile, one and a half mile mic because you know you've done that. Yeah, there's a short little like entrance hike. It's like a little by a little waterfall and some Once bridges. Once you get to the naked rocks, it gets and, rough, and then. Yeah, you start getting to actual rocks and the switchbacks, and it starts. It goes from a an elevated heart rate, like we're hiking to we're ascending a mountain now. Yeah, uh, and it happens about the one one and a half mile mark. You realize, oh, this sucks. Well, yeah. we had some folks that were already struggling before we got to that point, and we had to make a decision: uh, who wants to continue to the top, and who's going to continue. Until they're just they've had enough yeah, and just turn hang around out base camp yeah. yeah and turn around and go back. Um, out of the fourteen scouts that we had, um, eleven actually went to the top. Really? Yeah, that's awesome. I was very proud of all of them because the majority of them I don't think thought they could do it, but they were motivated by the other scouts yeah. their age doing it, and a little bit of peer pressure with some encouragement from myself and one of the other leaders. Um, everybody made it. <laughs> It, but it's such kids that age, man, it's such a, a shit show. Like I'll tell you this, of all the mountains I've climbed in America and in Afghanistan with weight on my back and yeah. body armor and a weapon and everything else, I look back on it sometimes. I'm like, the only reason I made it is because I didn't want people around me to think that I that I was couldn't a bitch. You know, so <laughs> so it's but yeah. Doing it's, those kind of things with someone else certainly helps. Yeah. And it's, so everything I because so yeah, being around those people would motivate yep. you to go and and then what's cool about it is once you've done it, then when you do it by yourself, you're like, what is happening? I'm dying. And you're like, you know, I've done this before. Mm -hmm. Why am I complaining? And it, right. and it but it teaches you, I think he teaches you life skills like, oh, this isn't as hard as that time I climbed meet you mount meet you peach you. I don't know. <laughs> um but you know. But yeah, so it so was good. It was good. Stuff. Lots of learning. Um things like how to listen to instructions. Yeah. So at the nature center where you check in. I told everybody to use the bathroom. Not a big deal. We can just step off the trail and kind of take a piss. But fill up on water. Yeah. Fill up your camelback or your water bladder. Fill up your extra water bottle. Fill up, fill up, fill up. I did, recall. Did you, did you fill up? Fill up. We filled everything and we still ran out of water when we went. Yeah. We only took like a Nalgene a piece, I think. I brought two. Because I gave you 
some of mine. Yeah, you had to give me some of mine. Um, I think I ran out or I didn't because I started cramping really bad. Yeah. I went through mine fast. Didn't have that issue this time. I did for one one part, but it was just like there's I don't know if you remember there's one part where it's almost straight up and yeah. they built steps. I remember it well. So you're taking the steps out of the rock, yeah. And so I cramped up a little bit there. Other than that, I was fine. But one of the scouts, like I remember every rock I almost know. two <laughs> almost two miles in, one of the scouts is like, I'm out of water. And this is on the ascent. Yeah. And like You're in trouble. That sucks. So I had to give him like half of my water and ration mine so that this kid didn't, it was, it was a mess, but it was fun. Everybody had a good time. Everybody survived. So that was fun. It was a good trip. And, uh, we're actually going back, Jessica and I, not specifically to there, but for our anniversary, I rented a cabin in the mountains and I picked the cabin just based on how the cabin looked and the scenery. I did not really look where exactly it was. Mm -hmm. I figured I'll find a place because fall mountains, they're hard to find anyways. Yeah. Let me find a place and then I'll figure out what to do around there. If there's nothing to do. Then we'll bring stuff and we'll just hang out in the cabin all weekend. Right. Yeah. Um, turns out it's 10 minutes from Table Rock. So we're going to go up there and uh, go see some waterfall. I don't know if we're going to hike that yeah. hike. Um, no sense in purposely being miserable on our anniversary weekend, no. but what well, there's well, some waterfalls and stuff to go see, and we'll go do that kind of stuff. Yeah. And uh, waterfalls are cool. It'll be October, so hopefully the leaves will start will start to change and stuff. That's a that's a on the list to do with the weef, dude. That's crazy that we're it's already we're already halfway through the year. Yeah, it flew by. It 100 percent flew by. Like I have projects and things both. It's crazy how days become board. weeks and yeah. weeks become months. And really, it's it, like. You're sitting here and like, geez. I, I felt like there's conversations that I had back in February where I was like, X, Y, and Z, right? Yeah. Like, let's get this done. We'll get it done by next month. And here it is June, still not done. It's like, what the hell happened? Yep. Time went by and then inflation went up and then diesel fuel went through <laughs> the roof. And then before you know it, you're not going anywhere. Well, time flies by whenever you're having to give out handies on the, the corner to Dude, buy gas. It's unbelievable <laughs> right now. <laughs> You know what's crazy to me? The other thing I noticed too is is you cannot vegetables. If I go, I used to go on Monday buy food for the week, mm -hmm. and like Friday it's still good. Maybe it's bad come next Monday. Sure, but now if you go to the grocery store and buy lettuce, it's it's fucking bad on Wednesday. I think it's because everything just sits. I was talking to um, Caleb Gibson about Gibby's. For yeah. reason. I was talking to him about uh, for everybody in the room that knows Gibson. Yeah, Gibby. Nice. I was sitting in the. Uh, <laughs> I was sitting there talking to him, and he was talking about that they won't even ship anymore unless the trucks are completely full. And then you have to have a special license because of how much they weigh. So it's like getting people to go get the license and advance their career. Nobody's interested in doing it. So there's no – that's where the shortage of drivers – there's just no drivers. Man. So there's no drivers to drive these heavy-ass trucks, and then the trucks aren't leaving until they're full. So they're, they're not shipping as much because it costs so much to so move So produce everything. is sitting for it's longer. sitting for weeks. Before then, it moves. Yeah, you get it five days before it's bad. Man. That's... And you know what's the other thing to think about? When people look at cheese, I'm going to – we learned this actually in our uh, executive bourbon cereal class. Mm -hmm. When you look at cheese – for those that he knows. When you look at cheese and you see mold on it and then you're like, oh, I'll just break off that piece of mold and now that's good. No. It's that, that mold is like seeped through the thing already and that's the visual – you can now visually see it, but the mold's in that's there. It's the first place that it's physically manifested, but yeah. the, the bacteria, the spores that cause that are, yeah. are throughout the food item. Yeah. It's just, so that's it's, the first place it's manifested physically. So pulling it off doesn't mean <clears> it's gone. <throat> and same thing like cutting a bad spot out of an apple. But now it's makes like- Makes me feel better though. Huh? Yeah, makes it does me feel make better. better. Yeah, I still do it. <laughs> but it's just frustrating because now I got to go to the grocery store, mm -hmm. you know, every other day. Yeah, for you and the one other person in your house. Yeah, because we don't eat- That's what I mean. A head of lettuce will last me- a couple of days. That's my point. So if I buy two heads of lettuce, you know, I'm not going to eat that in a week. So it'll yeah. go bad. But if on Thursday I want a salad, I got to stop and get it. Yeah. But electric golf cart. So I'm good. So I'm good. There you go. Save the money. Stupid. It's not stupid. It's smart. The other thing I want to talk about since we're on that train uh -huh. is uh, the thing we were talking about with the, remember I was telling you about the urea coming from Russia? Oh, and the, um, yeah. Yeah, that whole supply chain. So the person I was talking to was Rocco. I just didn't feel like explaining it that much, but he sent it to me and he's like, what do you think about this? So I've done some, a lot of research on it and I don't have any notes, so I'm not going to say anything for fact. This is just uh, thoughts on my, Matt thoughts. <clears throat> okay. Now it's time for Matt thoughts. The 
urea coming out of everybody's like, well, now we can't get fertilizer. So all the food, we're not going to be able to grow food. Okay. DEF, diesel exhaust fluid, which is what goes into the exhaust in order to make the emissions cleaner. Um, it's a federal law. You uh -huh. can't just get rid of it. Um, the urea that makes that, they're now limiting how many bottles of DEF you can buy. And Lowe's has made it allocated. You can get one gallon of DEF a day. My truck will take over a gallon. Um, granted, it lasts thousands of miles, but usually each oil change, I got to fill up my DEF tank. Mm -hmm. um, it is getting harder to find. So I tried to find something today, and I can't. So what I ended up doing was getting my truck service at the dealership because they have they have it, so they'll fill it up for me. Got it. But it's like the truck stations, I, there was none in there. There's none anywhere? Dude, no, I mean, I'm sure there is some somewhere, but I just, I mean, the like, three spots I'm I used, looked. I'm no. used to walking into a gas station, and there's, yeah. there's you know, yeah, a cases pallet of full. It. Yeah, it's just getting it's just getting harder to find. It's just getting harder to find, and Man. so like when that's gone, those trucks won't be able to move. Period it has nothing to do with the price of fuel. Or the federal government puts a they <laughs> lift the ban, but just like just like the, our our work does, we're just going to write a memo and excuse everybody for a while. Well, it has to be programmed out of it, so they'd have to program the DEF out of it, then remove it because you can't run it without the fluids. So yeah. You have to remove the entire filter, so then you'd have to put a pipe in, and get rid of the exhaust gas, the EGR valve. No big deal. It's just not going to happen. Two-hour job. I just see a lot of trucks sitting around doing nothing, probably, on the way, on the Maybe. future. I don't know. Something to keep an eye on. Huh. Yeah. I don't know. It is what it is. And uh, the other thing I wanted to bring up was, have you seen all these meat plants burning to the ground? Oh, it's not just meat plants. And this is, yeah, I, I brought There's this like up with 70. somebody. Yeah, I brought this up with somebody a couple uh, weeks ago about they're uh, food processing plants just in general like yeah. not even just meat there's been like dozens burned down like 70 the, of the past year. two years yeah but one just had was a chicken farm that just burnt down yeah to the ground yes it is mighty con it is my mighty curious i don't know what it means someone was like it happens What's the it happens every year well i've i've been told that it happens yearly like dozens there's there's thousands and thousands of these different plants that process foods, yeah. whether it's meat or other processed goods. There's literally thousands of them across the United States. They all have machinery. There are fires every year. Yeah. They happen all the time is what I've read and, 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 you know, seen, seen lists. But then I've also seen, you know, the conspiracy theorists that, um, the, the whomever is trying to take more control over the food supply chain. And so they're infowars.com. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just, I'm not saying, uh, <laughs> um, but, uh, but there's a couple cause like two of them had planes crash into them. Like how often does that happen? 9-11. <laughs> I can say it. Uh, you're the only one that can make Let's that see. joke pretty much. Yep. Okay. And, <laughs> Are you checking your qualifications? No, I was, uh, changing the subject there quickly. <laughs> mm. So yeah, deer season's coming quick. It's just yeah. Speaking of meat and and food processing, it's if there's ever a time, I tell you this to get to be sustainable, self sufficient, and getting food for yourself and knowing how to grow some vegetables, maybe I'll tell you this. It'd be of now. All the shortages, the food one concerns me the least. You know how many squirrels I, that, I see in my I backyard? That to Jessica, not a big deal. The other thing, I'm gonna get mm, probably. I'm gonna give you a tip. I'm gonna give you a tip. Just the tip. How many <laughs> pet stores? Or around your house. <laughs> There's a lot of shit you can eat in that store. A lot bro. of shit. It's basically a grocery store with fresh meat in it. <laughs> know what I mean? You don't got to tell your know, family that's know, what it is. I but know if, a place if I you could, can't feed your family. There's no food in the grocery store. But the pet store's got food. I know. In a, it. I know a, pay, a place that I can roll up and snatch. I know several a, places I can roll up and snatch some livestock pretty easily there's a goat farm and there's two rabbit farms within 15 miles of my house i'm fine i'm totally fine and even if those places dry up wet and i told i told jessica like apocalyptic like super like bad economic crash i'm um, going to the cord race but like you guys need me as a hired gun period and they're like man he's right and I'm <laughs> you're good. not wrong <laughs> yeah you're not wrong yeah um Here's a rifle. You take that fence line. <laughs> I'll bring all my. I'll bring my own stuff. I got a tourniquet. I got. I got ace bandages. I could do that. Yeah, I'm good. Um, and I don't have. I don't have anything. No one. Just like me and the wife. We'll both pull our shifts. We'll work twelve-hour days. I was just saying. Like I. That's I have, my I have no plan. problem going into the woods and hunting things to get my my my. my as long as they're in season. Of course. 
if my if my family's life depends on it, of course I'm gonna yeah. pay attention to what's in season. As long as it's in season. Anyways. But yeah, it's um if if it's one thing about the people that, that we have amassed in our uh on our Patreon group, I believe all of those guys will also survive. Oh, I you know, I I took We could kind of be like we'd be a Whiskey White Tales Doomsday Prepper. So we could make a doomsday tier. A doomsday recall. Where roster. You get you get <laughs> you get the address you get the uh the GPS coordinates. Of, of the spot. Of the spot. Yeah. yeah. So when the world ends, just come there. Everybody's coming here. Bring bourbon. Well, don't worry about food. Yeah. Bring bourbon. Bring a bring a radio when when you're within range. This is the frequency. Yeah. Give us uh give us a heads Three up clips. so we don't so you don't get and then taken out by a, yeah. a our sniper the who's sniper's gonna be coming it. up from Florida. Yeah. He'll be there already. <laughs> he'll get there, but he'll be the one that tells us like tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be some shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um Yeah, we got the inside scoop. We got special forces people, we got Cigar makers, we got survival specialists. Yeah, we know how to distill whiskey now. We can make whiskey out of acorns. Yeah, be pretty gross, but it'll get you drunk. Look, it'll clean a wound. Yeah, act as an anesthetic. I gotta gotta reset that shoulder. Yeah, when we shot it in you for not three clicking the microphone on the way in, you four four clicked. You four clicked. That's a bullet. (sighs) Try again. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. So, it'd, be, it'd be me. One of the kids had it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Three clicks. And then I, I look at the Rizzy strength, and I have a DF finder for where the signal came from. And I'm like, I know he's exactly 60 <laughs> meters. And I tell Larry, it's 60 meters, uh, north, northwest, <laughs> fire, fire, fire. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm just like, hey, do you want this medium well? or? <laughs> uh, anyways. And we can donner party when people die. We'll just eat them. Oh yeah, there we go. Let them go to waste, or we use their body. Oh, we can use their bodies as alligator bait, and then when the alligator comes in, we the alligators. Yeah, now we're talking. And there be snakes. There's there's just plenty of food there. There's lots of food, man. The food, the food thing concerns me the least. Now, that doesn't mean that people are going to be comfortable. Like you're not sitting down with, you know, a a yummy, easy chicken breast with some mac and cheese and some other stuff. But think of how much weight we'll lose. Yeah, we're gonna look great. We're gonna look good when we come out of this. (laughs) You're going to save a bunch of money because all the restaurants will be closed. It's true. Lick stores will still be open. I guarantee it. I'm sure. Yeah. Critical infrastructure. It is. You got to have them. Yeah, you do. Especially when you can't go nowhere. <clears throat> Most people can't stand to be at home. You remember that? how many alcoholics? Look at the bourbon boom. That's what caused it. Everybody's sitting at home with their wife. They're like, please shut up. And then they started drinking. I'm like, mm. she can talk all she wants. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Keep talking, honey. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's um, let's hit that plug. We haven't done this in a while. We haven't. Last few, a couple episodes. So this week's plug of the week is actually uh, kind of a two-parter. So today is June. Well, when we're publishing this, it is June thirteenth. June fourteenth is National Bourbon Day. National happy happy National Bourbon Day tomorrow. And bourbon, as you know, is so very authentically American. It is made from pure natural ingredients. Probably the purest product in a lot of ways that it's it, vegan that comes out of it is vegan. Um, the it, during the first session of the 88th Congress, the bur- bourbon was um, declared a distinct product of the United States. Mm-hmm. And so on June 14th, which I don't know why they didn't make it June, May 4th when th- that happened. In Congress. Because that's May the 4th be with you. Yeah, but that... You can't steal it from Star Wars. Anyways, so June 14th, National Bourbon Day. Enjoy it with a cocktail or something like that. Or if you're local here in the Charleston area, you can swing on over to Firefly mm-hmm. Distillery and they are, according to their their social media, releasing a single barrel or a barrel strength yep um brand new barrel strength single barrel yeah yeah check it out grab a bottle support your local distillery and i'll give you a heads up last time i went there i got there 30 minutes early and i was 103rd in line jeez so, really yeah oh man so plan ahead you're not going to show up at 3 p.m and get one fair enough did not, not get, gonna did not, not gonna happen that. yeah because they uh you know it's the bourbon boom sure which we have it over there somewhere. No, it's at the house. It's the one I had signed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, they were just signing bottles. I actually said, I don't want your signature on. I'm just kidding. I said that. Please don't. Please don't. Please. Who do you think you are? <laughs> <laughs> I 
No, that's cool. They both signed it, which is which is cool. Yeah. So um, uh, I mentioned uh, earlier, alluded to it. We are six days, eight days into June. Yep. We are just about at two months exactly from the opening of deer season down here. And you can go back to episode, I don't know, pick one, 60-something, 50-something, <laughs> where we said we were going to get out in the woods and start yep. doing stuff ahead of time. And here we are. We haven't. So we have work days coming. Um, so yep. it'll be time to get out there and start setting some stuff up, getting some cameras back out. Deer should be growing the mantlers if they're not already. Since oh, velvet, velvet coming in, they're definitely pokey boys right now. And uh, it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be a good season this year. I don't know why. I just got a. I got a it, feeling man. too, man. I gotta tell you, I got a feeling too. And I, it's what sucks about not going out is we keep saying that, but I mean, really, how many free weekends do we have? Not any many. free weekend we have, we work the market, which is not a free weekend. So it's, I mean, we're either out of town doing other things. I mean, out of town. We're usually out of town. Yeah. We're hardly ever here. Out of town. And, and you know, when we have weekends where we're full, that are full of, of activities, what, whether they're, they're preoccupied activities that are pre-playing with the kids or traveling or family traveling with with other for other business-related stuff. When we do have a free weekend, it's like, when well, I got to get caught up on all the shit I haven't been able to do for the past month. So it's not Dude. really a free weekend then either. <laughs> two, two weekends ago, I had yeah. to replace... The fence around the pump oh, around yeah. the side of the house. And then the, my backyard, there was a mulberry tree, which, as you know, is a weed. It was it had been growing since we moved in. And the guy, the neighbor was like, just let it go. And so it was buckling my fence. The, the, my fence and two by four, it was a good foot off. It had bowed it a foot. Oh, and wow. I knew that it was just any minute now it was going to break. So we, I ripped the fence down, had a stump grinder come in and grind it all the way down to oblivion. And then I had to replace the fence. And then my fence line has like this, like the McDonald's arches kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the new fence boards don't. So I had Andy measure and mark so I could cut it. Still yeah. haven't had time to cut it. Yeah. It's like I haven't even been able to finish those two simple chores. Adulting sucks. It's hard. It's crazy. I got that motorcycle. I haven't really been able to do anything with it. Mm. I have stuff parts just sitting, sitting there staring at me. Yeah. Oh, I wanted to show you. This is what I think I'm final. I think I've, I think I've finalized... What I want it to look like. Your build? Yeah. And uh, and I'll throw the picture up in here as well. But I think this is this is the finalized image of what I'm going for. What do you think? Suit you. Yeah. I think it does too. It suit you. Not that color. You know I'm silver and black kind of guy. But now will this will this have you leaning over on the bars or will you be able to sit? I will be kind of like this. Okay. So I'll be leaning not like a crotch rocket, but yeah, yeah. I just I hate this. That's the worst. Okay. So I'll be I'll be down here. I've not ridden, uh, you know. I don't ride. I've rid, done dirt bikes and and four wheelers, but I've not ridden anything like that before. I don't know what's comfortable or what would be comfortable. But I, this won't be comfortable for long rides. But I'm not going to take it on long rides. But you don't. Yeah, I was going to say you. I'm not a long ride kind of guy. You're more of a. I'm going to take it for a, a drive yeah, around on an afternoon. And well, it's usually like Saturday morning, Sunday morning. That would be mi- that would be it. miserable driving up to Michigan or oh, to Kentucky. Was, there's no <laughs> way. There's no way. I'd all be in a car. <laughs> yeah, like a civilized adult. Right. And then one day when I join the Hells Angels, I'll get a nice, comfortable Harley. Goldwing. Yeah. You can't. You have to have an American-made bike. Oh, do you really? Which, that's actually an Indian, so I could have that bike. There you go. But I like it. Did you notice the no rear fender and I license did. plate? I did. I did notice the rear Well, I did not the license plate. Does it kick off the side? It's all beat up. Oh, underneath cool. the seat. I like it. I think it's, that's, that's, that, I think that's, I think that's me. Part of it. Yeah. And I'll put my own spin on it, but I think that's the style I'm going to go for. Straight bars, drop mirrors. No rear fender. So you can go, who's behind me? The only reason you need a fender is so your back doesn't get beat up, but... Just drive um, in nice weather. Yeah, just drive in nice weather. Otherwise, you're rooster tailing. Yeah, you don't do that. It's not nice. No. I don't even know what that means. No. Are you planning to get a saddle to hunt out of this year? Yes. But are you go- planning? But, but are you going to, though? I don't know. I just <laughs> talked about the money I got to put in this motorcycle, so I don't know. <laughs> Priorities. Yeah. I don't know. I, I think um, I might. I think I'm gonna go cheap blind this year. Okay. And I think I'm just gonna. This is a good spot. Throw a blind up. I think that's what I'm gonna do this year. I want to get the see through 360 blind. Yeah, those are those are those are really cool. And I think that's probably cheaper than a saddle. Yeah. You know who has them? Who? Discounthunting.com. Hey. Yep. Really. Yep. You have a bunch of blinds you can choose from. I thought about doing something with that with Patreon. 
We should. That should be part of what well, we kind of talked about that a little bit. Yeah. Patreon only discount codes to places yes. like that. Cause yeah. they, he already said yes. Well, let's make that happen as part of our, uh, part of what we yeah. offer some of those. I meant to bring that up earlier when we were talking about stuff to do and I, we said something else and I got sidetracked, but that would, in addition to the whiskey stuff we do have something to offer the hunt, hunting folks as well, the hunting community. Cause I know, uh, like the gentleman that I know that's in there and some of the other ones are all big hunters. I, yeah. they'd, I'm sure they would love the opportunity to get some good deals on gear. Yeah. So Cobra of the week is blind. There's yeah. Blind. blind. Make it fun. Make it fun. Um, and I shipped Josh finally. Um, he won one of the ones we did. We did the single episode giveaway for code words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did randomizer. He won. He got um, a bunch of swag from different distillers. There was a Maker's Mark stuff, some Old Forester, some whatever. But I also threw in a sample of the birthday bourbon. Mm, nice. Hey. That's what I mean? nice of you. So that's what he won. Or just make it a comment. I might crack that open this weekend. I've been staring at it. Been staring at it hard. I was staring at it, and the cigar giveaway was kind of like, I need something that people are going to... Ooh, catch yeah. their attention. Yeah. So I knew that I was going to make that reel, which if you haven't noticed, Gus and I never make videos and reels for Instagram where we're talking to the camera because we both think it's kind of silly. So we just have never done it. But... But, you know, the more you think about it, we make YouTube videos, so, and we're on a podcast. So it's and like, why Instagram's, are we... Instagram's algorithms yeah. lean towards that kind of content, so yep. you'll probably be seeing more of it. More of that. And then uh, TikToks. We're going to do more TikToks. Ticky tacks. And the TikToks could be just just stupid easy stuff, just like pop, popping bottles. Popping bottles. Slapping whatever bottles. The, whatever the latest little BS song and no dance thing is. I'm not doing dances. I'm not doing dances. I did, I had I had an idea for a TikTok though. Yeah, with a song. Well, and tell me now, and then you have to do it before Monday. Nope. Dick. Scared, Absol scared. Absolutely not. Not scared. I'm drinking <sighs> more of this. Are you? You want some? Sure. So now that we've I've had a good a bit of it. Mm -hmm. I saw that look. <laughs> See my eyes cross. Go. What the fuck was that? <laughs> now that I've had a good a bit of it, I am a fan. It's good. I like it a lot. Yeah. I do too. It's, it's, uh, the more you drink it, the more you're like, this is a lot of MGP. You notice, like, I don't, I'm not, I don't know what it is about the whiskey that's, that was used to blend this, but I noticed it earlier when I drank it. And then when it drips down the side, it leaves kind of an odd film. I don't know if it's the way it was, the whiskey's filtered or not filtered, but it leaves kind of a weird film on I think the, it's just old, thick, tanny. Could be too. I mean, there's some ten, there's two. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. Everything just, in here is, except for one, they're all eight to 10 years old, so. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. So I think it's just, um, and even then, the one that's not, the 2014 that's in here is 0.2% of it. So 99.8% <laughs> of it will not die from, or is, was, was. Uh, Pre-COVID? Was, um, <laughs> yeah. only 0.2% is is going to die, is going to be not Spit it out, old. fuck. Some people know what I was saying. You just didn't catch it, but you'll catch it while editing, and it's fine. Nope, the moment is past. <laughs> All right, so let's do a. I want to do the fact a little early. Round on fact of the week. Okay, this week's random fact of the week is brought to you by Whiskey and Whitetails. You can go to whiskeywhitetails.com. Use good podcast. Save twenty percent. We also like to thank the Waypoint Network for allowing us to be part of their family. Correct. We are trending on Waypoint, which is cool. Nice. Trending. Whatever that means. I don't do math. Trends. What's whatever's trendy. So it's this week's us. fact of the week, I wanted to get down to our roots. Not our roots, but the current cultural climate that we find ourselves in, uh -huh. that everyone's angry all the time. And remember, there's a thing about statues. Remember, I was like, tear it down, you know, all that. Yeah. That's actually not where I'm going. But the statues that you Thank see God. is a park with the people on horseback. So two legs up, if the horse is, Whoa, that means they died in battle. Really? One leg down, one leg up, that means they died due to a wound in battle. All four legs down, that means they died of natural causes. Did not know that. Didn't either. I think that's a pretty fascinating story. But the reason why it's cool is because when you go 
to a battlefield or you go somewhere and you see a guy sitting on a horse, if they're still there, I think most of them are no longer there. But if they are still there, you could turn to your wife and be like, ah, oh, guy died in battle or that guy died due to wounds battle or that guy lived yeah. through the war. And they're like, survived. how do you know that? Like, I'm a fucking historian. I'm a bit of a statue connoisseur. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Unfortunately, the majority of the stories in Charleston or statues in Charleston are gone. But I think there's one left, and I do know that he has all four on the ground. Yeah. So that's kind of a boring one. I don't think any of the war ones are still up. Yeah, history. Because people are woke. And then the – that's the – yeah, so that was the fact of the week. Two legs in the air, died in battle. One leg, died of wounds. Awesome. All legs on the ground, died of natural causes. We still whiskey and whitetails field trip to a battlefield. Ooh. You know what I was thinking? A whiskey and white trail. I don't tell me. Wagon, yeah. yeah. A whiskey and white trails field trip, <laughs> Patreon field trip. We could go to a pick a national forest. Uh huh. Like pick something central to where everybody is. Uh huh. We go scout it out and we're like, this is the spot. And then we could have our, the, do the experience there. Yeah. It'd be free land. We all just show up. We'll bring the trailer, the cots, tents, bring whatever. Bring stuff. Camp, bring stuff. We're campers, camp. tents, whatever. Yeah. How much fun do you think that we would be? We hang out, we cook, we hunt if it's season. And it would season. cost absolutely nothing other than travel. That is a fantastic idea. I thought so too. I had the idea um, on the way home from Kentucky. I was like, how can I? Because I had so much fun hanging out with just like, like-minded like people, you know, you know, in that world, the bourbon world. Just meeting bourbon people is cool. So if if we were to do like for us, how could we do it? So every, like no one has to pay an entry fee. You know, everything's just kind of come as you are, as Jesus would say. <laughs> yeah or if we could find that's a good idea yeah that's a good idea by itself yeah where would you that, that 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 spurred other ideas but those are that's just they're just that's the foundation yeah right? there's been off of, of other ways to do that but yeah. um so if you're a patron you I, want, if you have an idea to add to that send yeah. it to us or put it in the comments and um and we'll add it to the to where the would i pick you said yeah i think kentucky like well kentucky's a great choice i mean but I mean, we have patrons in Utah. Utah, PA, South Carolina, North Carolina, one in Florida. I'm trying to think of everywhere I shipped to. We have my, several my, in Illinois. My only other suggestion would be to make it a little bit closer. We could do a – ooh, we should do just like a U.S. map and we'll pin where everyone is. Tie all the pins together and wherever that center spot is, that's, that's that way we're all traveling oh, the man, same distance. That suck. I think it'll be Appalachia because there's so many people in Illinois and PA in South Carolina that I think that it'll just be pulled. I think there's just going to be more people there. To figure it out. Yeah. But that's a good or, idea. It'd be fun. We could take a pen and then point them all north into Canada and then wherever they combine in Canada, that's where we have to go. <laughs> we have to go to Canada. Yeah. I'm actually not allowed. Whiskey and Whitetails, eh? I'm not allowed there, so you have to go without me. Why aren't you allowed there? I killed somebody there once. Oh, okay. I'm just kidding. I'm just not allowed there. What can I say? Interesting. I'm allowed there. I was joking. Oh. oh. I just don't want to go there, and I felt that would be a good, a good excuse. Story. No, I have no excuse. I've actually never been to Canada. What's the furthest north you've been? Um, been to Canada. You have? Yeah. For hockey? No. No. Oh. On right. that Boundary Waters trip. Oh, yeah, that's right. Boundary Waters Canoe. We went, yeah. we went up over in that's what that Canadian means. waters. Boundary Water. It's on the boundary. The Boundary Waters Canoe area. Yeah. The boundary water, yeah, it's um, it's a series of glacial lakes and stuff uh, that are along the northern Minnesota uh -huh. and, uh, area across along the Canadian I didn't really put Canadian that together border. that boundary meant Canada. The boundary. boundary. boundary yeah, yeah, the U.S. boundary. Boundary Waters. I went to New York City once. Yeah, I've been in New York City. Stupid. Never gone there again. <laughs> Dom works there. Spent some time. I spent some time for work in um oh, what the hell is that city? Great content. Yeah, this is great, guys. Hope you like it. Yeah. <laughs> uh it's north uh whatever, doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So we're good. what are we doing? Okay. What do we got going on other than Yeah. So we have we got the market. We're, it's hot. We're hot and heavy in market season yeah. right now. So, so we're doing that pretty see, much every free weekend. Yeah, every free weekend. Um, 
we can. We're, we're going to be in the market slinging products like. We've also figured out that we can do video at reviews there. We can um, help do uh, content writers. But I was also I was also wondering if people would be interested in a market video. Like, like a video of the market as yeah, a whole? Yeah, like the downtown area, how, like how hard it is to get in there, you know, what it's what it's like, the yeah. process to sign up and, and the 5,000 emails we get a week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. But, but it's it's market season, if you will. We've also got season. Great Outdoor uh, Georgia Outdoor well, Network. Before we go to that, out. we wanted to say we are now for sh- – we were thinking about it before, but we are now for sure hiring someone. If you live in the Charleston area, know someone in the Charleston area that needs a nine to five. Yeah, we're looking for somebody to work the day. Maybe some market. overtime on the weekends. If you know somebody that wants to sit at a shop in the market and sling our stuff, if you are retired, that would be sick because um, we know you'll show up. If you're a young kid, you know we may figure it out. But I mean, are tolerant for. Uh, but here's the thing: it's it'll be ten ninety nine. Yeah, ten ninety nine. So if you don't know what that means, look, it, look up. it up. But uh, we, yeah, we want someone. Who and there's is, commission. We have a base rate that we'll pay, which is negotiable. We'll talk about it. And then there's commission over a certain amount of sales that yeah. you get. So and each then, day, if you ex- exceed that baseline number that we agree on, then after that, good a good percentage of commission. By the way, yeah, yep. And then we will also teach you the behind the scenes stuff on Whiskey and Whitetails. You can come with us and record stuff. You can we teach you about video editing, teach you about audio engineering. We can teach you about woodworking. We can teach you. Whiskey yeah. classes. You yep. can go with us on whiskey classes. Like if you, if you are wanting to get involved in the industry and, and don't have much going on and need a job, let us know. Yep. We're ready. We are ready. We've been we discussing looking... it and we're finally, let's pull that trigger. Yeah, because we're going to need the help. Yeah. The bottom line is that we just, we need to continue the growth. Yeah. And we can't do that without some help. And yeah, we're stretched pretty thin. So, And also, if you have any free time and you do video editing and you wanted to help out, we would not be uh, not be against talking to you. So if you're, if you're like, hey, I do some stuff and I'm still kind of learning and you want to try your hands at uh, putting together some videos or f- editing podcasts or, you know, whatever. Yeah. If you want to do stuff and... Um, Give us wanna, a shout. Yeah, let us know. The... So Gone Outdoors. Yes, the we plugged it before. Georgia Do you have out, the date? Georgia Outdoor Network. It is. I have it on my phone. Let me yeah. look it up. Well, I'll explain it. The Georgia Outdoor Network. It's uh, in Georgia, and it's an outdoor network nation. I actually think it's a TV show. It's a group of a conglomerate of rich people that have so much money that they just dump it into an event space, and people pay to come and buy outdoor stuff. You would just keep making stuff up? Continue making shit up. Yeah. And then most of them wear fedoras, which I also, I used to find, thought, I thought it was funny at first, but after being in that space and seeing how much that the water drips from the ceiling, all it right. makes a lot more sense because they're not getting soaking so, wet in their suits they, and all it, the silk they wear because silk can show through with water. Mm-hmm. So you get these people wearing these silk suits mm-hmm. with water dripping the ceiling and a fedora hat and then they just... <laughs> They look stupid by the end of the day. <laughs> I had to cut all that out. I'm, not, I'm just going to beep it and everyone has to... Yeah, yeah, they'll know what I said. Maybe, but you didn't say it. It's true. So, uh, Ag Pro... Oh, I can say all kinds of stuff they know. So, it's that. sponsored by Ag Pro. Oh, okay. And it, but, it, but it's put on by the Georgia Outdoor Network, I think is what it is. It's the Ag Pro Outdoor Blast. Uh, it is a two-day... I think it's two days or maybe just the one day, but it's a big outdoor expo. It's all focused on primarily deer hunting and getting prepped for deer season. Yeah. So we'll be there slinging some products, selling calls. So we'll have barrels there kit. too. If you live in the barrels. Georgia area and you want to buy a barrel, you have to roll yep. it out though. We're not, I mean, yep. what, what do you want me to do? And we'll have a uh, information about our whiskey classes for coming to your, your outfitter or your hunting club. Is that live on the site, by the way? Is what live on the site, or where you can? Uh, yeah, read. absolutely. Yeah, I, yes. I'm I'm monitoring the new um, events at whiskeyandwhitetails.com. The if you if you go to uh, on our website, we have a, a on the menu. It says the experience or experience. Uh, you can go on there. It talks a little bit about 
the Whiskey and Whitetails experience, how we can customize that for you, your organization, whatever you want to do, has a form to fill out to give us a little bit of background info, and then we'll give you a call or set up a meeting to discuss that a little bit more in depth yep. and figure out the details, work out what a call, all that you. kind of stuff. And whether yep. that's one-on-one -on -one training, yep. you and a group of friends want to do it by Zoom, or you and a group of friends want to pay, I mean, there's travel costs, so if you want to pay the travel costs for us to come out there, if sure. you're a hunt club, if you're in an event space, you need somebody to come out and talk whiskey or bourbon or anything you need um, in that for anywhere in there. Do you have the president of the United States and you want to just come talk to <clears> us? <throat> fuck off. But if you're outside of that, I should probably delete that too. If you're a wealthy business owner and live in the United States or you're, you're a senator or anybody, we will come uh, We will come talk to you <laughs> and sell you stuff and we'll teach you about whiskey. Uh, we don't have to sell anything. We'll teach you about whiskey. Oh, man. Man, I wish I could leave that in, but... I mean, you kind of maybe could. I think most people... But, but here's the thing, like, <laughs> would it matter who was in that office? Would you really give a shit? Would you really want to go and... Great save. You're correct. No, I don't want to go to the White House. I, I, did, I can't think of a single president that's ever existed that I've been like, that'd be cool to hang to out with hang him out with for that an guy? hour. No. Nah. They're all liars, and, uh, and Dude, I'm good They're with... all politicians. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, anyways. Yeah. Different so, heads of the same snake, but, um, yeah. and then, and so the, the crazy thing is, is it, I was just looking, flipping through the calendar. We're kind of in a break right now. Yeah. But it's, a it's about to get crazy busy because we have that show. That's the very end of July, start of August. Two weeks later, whitetail season starts. Two weeks after whitetail season starts, we go to Kentucky for Rocco's dinner. For the Camp Hero dinner. Yeah. Two weeks after that, we're back in Kentucky for Bourbon on the Banks. Yeah, we have Snipers Unknown somewhere in there. A few weeks after that is October. We have Snipers Unknown. That's also when shit starts for the holidays. Yeah. So we... <laughs> yeah, we're about to be... It's about to be busy. Enjoy your next couple of... <laughs> yeah. Talk. We should probably think about that and uh, and pick a weekend and just be like, you know what? Nothing. Or maybe two weekends in a row. Because I really have a lot of stuff I need to catch up dude, on. Dude, so do I. Let's look at that. Let's add that to the notes. Just find, yeah. let's find two weekends where we just close the doors, because now's the time to do it, right? We got like a month. Yeah, roughly. I mean, I don't have. In terms of close the doors, like, I don't mean for y'all. I just mean like we're we're not gonna wear the market. We're we're just gonna. Yeah, no, no, no. That's that's fine. I'm yeah. I'm good with that. Let's pick a couple of weekends and block them off. Like yeah. I know, like I have. Some, well, we'll talk about it later. Yeah, yeah. I have some family trips and stuff coming up over the. So I'm getting ready to get real heavy into making products ahead of the holidays and getting all yeah. prepped for all that. I know I, I know I said I would be, have already been doing that, but Dude, <laughs> you, you got to wait till it's hot outside and miserable. Yeah. I got to wait until it's miserable <laughs> and it's stressful. Yeah. Um, like why would I make it easy on myself? No. Why would <laughs> um, but, but you know what's fun, man, all the people that, that say stuff to us, like we had this discussion today with Patreon and they're like, you know, that we're changing one of the tiers and it's going, it's going down in money, but they're losing a, a, a pretty cool benefit, but they're like, you it's know, exchange for another benefit. That's for, yeah. Kind for of better benefits. Cool, I think, I think that, yeah, I think it's the same. The only difference is a little is, partial, but I think that, I think the new tier is better, but, but I mean, they do too, obviously they agree, but they're like, whatever, whatever helps support you guys. But we, they, people get told all the time uh -huh. how hard we work and like they know really like you're all your guys are going somewhere because all this work you put into it. And it's like we don't have everything figured out, but it's funny though because I spend a lot of time thinking that I'm not doing enough. Yeah, I think we both do because we have free moments here and there. Like right. I'll sit down and watch a TV show with the <coughs> wife, and I'm like, I should be doing something. Yeah, I should be doing. I something. sat I sat in the back on the back porch last night and had um, a cup of coffee and a cigar. I wasn't even having a beer, man, Dude. because I had stuff to do that evening. After, yeah. But it was a two-hour block where I just sat outside, no work, no whiskey and whitetails, watch the kids play in the pool, talk to the wife, and I felt guilty, and it yeah. sucks. Yeah, that's the reason why people, <laughs> like, we get cigars. Speaking of that, Kyle, once again, sent us a package, but he sent- um, Oh, yeah. He, so I think these are Drew Estates. At least they used to be. I saw but the they, picture. they aged them in Pappy Van Winkle bottles. Um, so this is a Churchill bottles or barrels, barrel. Yeah. Barrels. So that's a Churchill, barrels. um, Pappy Van Winkle cigar. And nice. he also sent us both discount hunting shirts, which we'll as you that. know, we love what camo. Size is that? I think he got us both extra large. I think that's, he knows, I think he knows what shirt. My nipples are going to show through that one, Kyle. You do that on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> you. My man. 
but yeah, it's uh, a um, yeah, the cigar thing. It's like you know, I wish I had time to smoke. Like a lot of our patrons get the opportunity to smoke a cigar a day or a couple cigars a day. I try to, if I can, at least one. Dude, I can't. There's no way I can smoke a cigar. A I day. have the benefit of working from home full time. Yeah, though, see, I have to, go, I have to, to work. go into a, a special. I go to work office. every day, and then I come home and try to be in bed by ten. So it's like, yeah. So if I'll, I'm done at nine. The last thing I'm yeah. gonna do is smoke a cigar. Sometimes I'll take like during lunch. You've seen pictures I'll post. Yeah. Uh, sometimes I'll go take my computer in the garage just just to get out of that damn room for yeah. an hour and change my scenery. And even if it's hot outside. Just sit outside and answer emails and do that stuff um, and smoke a cigar just to get out of the house for a, for a second. But I try to, man, but it's not always easy. It's hard. I'm looking forward to tomorrow afternoon, though, because cause that's whiskey and whitetail stuff. And I can actually, that's why I love First Thursday so much. Yeah. And if you don't know, it's a that, chance to sit down and drink and smoke and just talk shit and have a good time. And if you're still listening to this and you're not familiar with. Yeah. If you're still listening to this and you're not on Patreon, you, you why, why? You're missing. Really ask me why. I just told you we're redoing our tiers. There's a five dollar tier. That's yeah. the dumbest one to join. But if if it's like <laughs> if it's like I you know, I just can't I can't. If you're just trying to if you if you just you don't want to like jump just, all the way in, you're just testing the waters. Yeah. Join that one. And it's a month or something you can about. cancel whenever you want. Yeah. But I promise you when you get in there, you're gonna make some serious friends. You're gonna have a good time and and the first Thursdays are, are, are awesome. You missed it by now. Um, so next month's by first now. Thursday. But what first Thursday is, we call it group therapy. Yeah, group therapy. But uh, the first Thursday of every month, uh, not, not everybody can always make it, but we set a time that seems to work for most people, and everybody hops on Discord, join the uh, the group therapy channel. The video and, channel. The video channel. And everybody hangs out and shares, shares what they're drinking. Yeah. Some people can't drink. Some people are on their way to do things or they're hanging out, doing other things. They're not having a drink. Maybe they're smoking a cigar. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Everyone just gets together, hangs out, shoots the shit. It's um, it's fun. And it gives us a chance to enjoy a cigar and a smoke and, and a cigar, to enjoy a Perfect smoke excuse. and a whiskey and, and be on like company time. And it's yeah. not, a, we know those feel guilty. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> yeah. So... We have a giveaway going on too, by the way. We should have mentioned probably earlier in this podcast. Well, it's, well, it's it'll over, be over by now. Yeah. So no, we don't just disregard yep. that. Well, if you missed it, we did a giveaway with Cigars and Guitars Farm, which yep. is Trevor Bard, one of our patrons. He's also the guy that writes all of our cigars. Correct. Used, which I see people commenting, like cigar brands yeah. will comment on his page and be like, can't wait to read this one. Your yep. reviews are so good. You know, you know, he does a fantastic job. He does job. a great job. We, <laughs> we get the feedback. Very we can good. see the metrics on our site, the people that only come to our site to read the cigar stuff. Yeah. And it's, I mean, it's, it's awesome. But he started his own shop, and so now he can sell cigars. So he has the top five sample cigars of 2022 and the first quarter that he smoked so far. He went and got them. And he made these whiskey and white tail smoker kits, and he or smoker and uh, cigar kits. I'm used to saying that thing. Anyway, so um, so we did a giveaway with our cigar rest, yep. and we pointed out in the video about how the kits that we sell don't have a pilot hole here. And what those are called is Forstner bits. Yeah, the Forstner bit leaves a leaves a hole, a small hole, but that that hole is what what keeps the the Forstner bit from catching and jumping across the wood. Uh, that being said, in order to, for places like the market and some other places, in order to be able to mass produce some and yeah. sell some at a, at a cheaper rate, we are making some yeah, gonna that are going to have that pile of hole, but we're going to cover that with a piece of uh, cork, which I yeah. pre-cut and I showed you some of that. Which you won't be able to see, but these, the stuff we've always made has, has yep. never had that. And the difference, and I'm sure a lot of you don't notice it, but if you go anywhere and you see anything made out of burn barrel staves, you will see that pilot hole there. And then people are like, wow, yours are $5 more than the rest. Yeah, because it takes us way longer to create it. Quite a bit longer, yeah. Because we don't we don't cheap out and use junk. But I like in the video how you're like, you see that? No pilot hole there. You know what that's called? It's called craftsmanship. Yeah. It made me, it made me chuckle. I yeah, appreciate it. I did it just for you. Because <laughs> you're the one that does it all. If it's made out of staves, Gus does it. If it's made out of heads, <laughs> outside of our calls, I do it. Matt loves heads. I do. Big fan. <laughs> <laughs> they're flat, easy to work with. Usually they're good circumference and they, they come apart pretty easy. And sometimes you can make a lot of cool stuff out of them. You can make a lot of cool stuff out of them. We got, you want to talk about the thing you're working on? Are they ready to for the button? No. You save it for another episode? No. Okay. I got a thing I'm working on. It'll be on the website before we ever mention it here. Okay. And then I will have, once I figure it out, once I'm like, this is how we're going to do it, Gus. Because yeah. I experimented with it yesterday. I cut a bunch of them and played with it and 
kind of set stuff up and I actually have one running 24 seven just to see how to long test. it lasts. Yeah. Um, they're re you can, it'll last, that makes it sound stupid. It'll last months, but in the event that it stops working, it, it, it I'm making them so they're easy to I can't, replace and it'll I cost you under a dollar. But I can't, it. I also can't imagine somebody running one of those day in and day out for no. months at a time. So it'll probably last them a long time. Yeah. It'll last, it'll last a long time. Cool. It's fun. But yeah. So I'm having that. And once we do it, they will pretty much all be one of one. And I think I can make close to a hundred right now. You want to answer this on the call? Yeah. Reno, Nevada. Oop, not that one. Oh, I can't wait. It's a spam call. Let's see what we got. Hi, you're live with Tom and Jerry. Hello? Live with Tom and Jerry. No, you're the number one caller. <laughs> I guess that's that's the answer. When you get spam calls, you just tell them they're live with Tom and Jerry. Are you Tom or Jerry? Well, I would be, I'll be Tom. Because you don't want to be a mouse? <laughs> Dick. I don't want to be a cat either. I think I'd be Tom. Tom always hurts himself, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're, you're <laughs> that cartoon is racist. Anyways, <laughs> good episode, guys. Thanks for all your support. <laughs> thank you for uh, there was thank you for just being awesome. We appreciate it. Somebody took if, a compilation of Joe Biden talking, and then they were and he was talking about race, and then they added in um, from uh, what's the the guy that was the cowboy or whatever, and then he he did the movie where uh, his wife died and he smoked cigarettes all the time. El Camino. Mm -hmm. They pulled in pieces from El Camino. <laughs> what <laughs> talking? He's like, I stack you know f's like you five feet tall in Korea. <laughs> so good. It was so good. <laughs> Okay. Oh, man. All right. And if you're still hanging on at this point, man. <laughs> that was for you. We appreciate you. Until next time. I, I don't I don't know. Cheers or whatever. Keep drinking. Yeah. All right. Bye. Safe sex. <laughs> <laughs>